If you clicked this video with the intention of learning the true ability of Ichigo's Bankai, I'm informing you now that I do not know any more than the community already does. Only Kubo knows and only Kubo can answer that. I'm not here to tell you what Ichigo's Bankai is. However, I'm here to break down everything else in the way you've probably never heard of up until this point. So I implore you to stick around for this. It'll be worth the time. I promise. Also, if you're an anime only, just skip this one. Spoilers everywhere. Ichigo Kurosaki's power system is one of the most complicated subjects in the Bleach mythos, which is extremely ironic given the fact that he is the main character. His abilities are so unique, and they lean into so many Bleach concepts that it's not merely a matter of recognizing it, but also understanding the proper way of perceiving Ichigo's power. And so, grab your Kubology notebooks and come with me on a deep dive into what I believe is the true way of understanding Ichigo's power in the world of Bleach. The Soul Reaper combat system is divided into multiple parts ranging from Zanjutsu, Hakuda, Hoho, and Kido, but the true foundation of Soul Reaper combat is the Zanpakuto, broken down into two parts, the Shikai and the Bankai. For a Soul Reaper to be powerful, these are the two most essential courses of action they need to take, attaining and mastering both their Shikai and their Bankai. That in of itself would be simple if that were it. But the deeper you get into the Bleach world, along with its intricacies, the concepts become a lot more nuanced and complex. When a Soul Reaper attains a Shikai, they learn the name of their Zanpakuto, and along with it comes what I like to call an affinity. Now, this is not a word Kubo uses in the manga. I'm using it now because it will become integral to understanding my later points. When I say affinity, I think of it like this. Ryujin Jaka is a fire-type Zanpakuto, and so it has a fire affinity. Yorin Maru is an ice type Zanpakuto with an ice affinity. Soifon Suzume Bachi has a poison type affinity. Aizen has hypnosis or an illusion based affinity. So you get the basic idea there. Now, from the affinity, the Zanpakuto can have what can be simply called techniques. Aizen's Kaizen Simon is a Kyokasui Getu technique. Toshiro's Ryu Senka is a Zanpakuto technique. Taka Oni, Iro Oni, Nigeki Kitsatsu, Tenigen, and so on and so forth. I know you guys understand that much so far. There is the Zanpakuto affinity, and then there is the Zanpakuto technique. So, with that in mind, allow me to ask you this question. What is Zangetsu's affinity? If you understand the definitions I raised above, what would you consider Zangetsu's affinity to be? Are you saying Getsuke Tensho? I can understand why you might give that answer, but I don't think that's right. Allow me to explain. Zanpakuto's are not shared. Everyone has their own because they are born from an Asaruchi and it's a deeply personal matter. That is why Bleach Movie 2 was so problematic, creating a situation where two Soul Reapers had the same Zanpakuto. It fundamentally does not make any sense. And so, if Ichiko's Zanpakuto ability is Getsuke Tensho, then no one else should be able to use Getsuke Tensho, except that Ishin Kurosaki has used Getsuke's many times in the story. This question opened a Pandora's box of possibilities that led me to dive deeper into the lore in pursuit of more understanding. So put Getsuke Tensho to the side. That will be the first block of this. We'll come back to it. The best way for me to understand and find out what Ichigo Zanpakuto affinity or ability is, is to try to understand what exactly Ichigo Zanpakuto is. It is no secret that old man Zangetsu lied to Ichigo by creating this falsehood that he was the true embodiment of Zangetsu. We know that to be incorrect because the true source of Ichigo's soul over power is white Ichigo. That's a largely accepted notion. An old man Zangetsu gives Ichigo multiple examples where, whenever he needed to teach Ichigo something about his Zanpakuto, he would always call on his hollow to be there. An example is against Kenpachi, and another is when training for the final Getsuke Tensho. That all made sense, except that there's a very tiny issue here. The issue here is the Bankai. Let's go all the way back to the Soul Society arc. Ichigo is training with Yoruichi in the underground caverns Kisuke created, and she's brought with her a device called the Tenshintai. This is a device made by Kisuke to forcibly draw out and materialize the soul of his Zanpakuto to allow the Soul Reaper to achieve Bankai. When Ichigo stabbed his sword into this device, the one who showed up was not white, but in fact, Old Man Zangetsu. Now, the context here is that Ichigo is trying to learn Bankai, and yet, the one who is in fact his real Zanpakuto is not here. Furthermore, by having old man Zangetsu separate from white two other times to do the job, against Kenpachi and during the final Getsuke Tensho training, it's suddenly odd that nothing of the sort happens here. The questions compound when you realize that we don't actually see Ichigo attain Bankai. Kubo cuts away from the training to the execution platform, and the next time we see Ichigo, he's not only attained Bankai, 
but also learn to get to Katensho, all off screen, away from our perspectives and viewpoints. That creates a problem. How are you learning Bankai when your Zanpak To is not present? How are you learning get to Katensho when your Zanpak To did not teach you? Ichigo appears before Byakuya and he goes Bankai into what he calls Tensa Zangetsu, and we see him have an outfit change. Knowing what we know now, you take a look back at his Bankai clothing and you notice a stark resemblance to old man Zangetsu and nothing to do with white. Byakuya takes one look at Ichigo's Bankai and he says, Whoa, well, wait, is that it? Is, is that little thing your Bankai? You can't be serious. You just enjoy treading on the things we hold sacred. That move of yours is not Bankai. No Bankai could be that miserable. That's what Byakuya said. Now, I know what you're thinking. Byaki is just saying that because he doesn't believe Ichigo have the potential to achieve Bankai, but both things can be true. A line can have double meaning as a way to misdirect. White Ichigo is an example of this. He said, I am Zangetsu, and we were like, oh, that means he's taking over Zangetsu, and so he is Zangetsu, but actually no. Even though that was true, he meant it literally, that I am Zangetsu. So this story technique by Kubo isn't new. Byakuya could simultaneously be speaking about how Ichigo does not have the ability and the potential to achieve Bankai while simultaneously looking at Ichigo's Bankai and saying, bro, that is not a Bankai. Both things can be true. Ichigo fights Byakuya and gets a sword in his foot and a Byakurai through his chest. As he stands there motionless, White takes over Ichigo's body and combats Byakuya. He then says, you're no good at all, Ichigo. Every bone in your body is creaking from the weight of your own spiritual pressure. But I'll show you how to use Bankai. Now that strikes me as odd. I'm like, so wait a minute, White, what do you mean you'll show him how to use the Bankai? You're the Bankai. How are you going to tell me that you're going to use Bankai when you're the Bankai? Unless, of course. Fast forward to Ichigo's visor training. He goes into his inner world and White's waiting for him. Why didn't Ichigo both go Bankai and they clash? When they do, Ichigo says, when the hell did you learn to use Bankai? And you know what White's response was? White says, isn't it obvious? I learned it the same time you did. Now wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What do you mean that you learned it the same time I did? My brother in Christ, you are the Bankai. What are you talking about? And before anyone says White is just lying or faking, let me make something clear. Old men's on get to lie to Ichigo. But White did not. White told Ichigo many times, I am Zangetsu. Ichigo just rejected him. But even though he was rejected, he was always there when Ichigo was on death's door to save him. So White is not a liar. He's a lot of things, but he's not a liar. Standing on the principle of these scenes, this is what we can conclude. It's general knowledge that the Bankai Ichigo used pre-thousand year blood war, the blade is me, was not born from Ichigo's true Zanpak tale because Old Man Zangetsu was repressing his power. I am not here to debunk or rebuke that statement. With the evidence I presented to you, I am simply affirming it. Old Man Zangetsu and White share the same body. In order for a Bankai to be attained, the Zanpak To must be present. And so, even though Old Man Zangetsu was the one who showed up, technically, White was there as well. He and White shared the same body, and so technically, White was present when Ichigo learned Bankai. However, because White was not the accepted true source of Ichigo's power, the resultant Bankai ends up being inauthentic. Furthermore, when you think about Old Man Zangetsu being willing to separate from White when teaching Ichigo a technique, it actually makes sense why he didn't do that for the Bankai training. The context of Ichigo's Bankai training is such that if Old Man Zangetsu had White be the one to appear, the secret about him being a fake would have been revealed and Ichigo would have noticed the inconsistency. He was not ready to reveal the truth to Ichigo and so he made sure that he was the one to appear. And because he and White inhabit the same body, White confirms this by the way, and because Old Man Zangetsu had some measure of control over how much power White could have over Ichigo's spiritual energy, he was able to leak out enough power to allow Ichigo to achieve Bankai. This then effected in Ichigo's Bankai resembling Old Man Zangetsu rather than White with his color, his cloak, and his blade. In addition to this, we have an example in Renji which establishes that it is possible for one to attain a Bankai that is of a different name. Renji's Bankai is Hihiyo Zabimaru. However, Ichibe reveals that Zabimaru lied to Renji and did not give him his real name. His real name is Soho Zabimaru and that is proof that you can have an inauthentic Bankai with one name and then when you realize what the true Bankai is, you are granted another name. However, in Ichigo's case, 
The fact that Tensile Zangetu is the name of his Bankai before and after he gains his true power is proof that White was present during his Soul Reaper Bankai training. Present, but silent. Present enough to grant Ichigo a true Bankai name, but not present enough to grant Ichigo a true Bankai ability and power. I have always wondered what Ichigo's Bankai ability is, and not Thousand Year Blood War Ichigo. I mean the Bankai we already know before the final arc. When Ichigo fought against Grimjow, Grimjow said that Ichigo's Bankai just gives him a speed increase. If we are to take Grimjow's word to heart along with the obvious speed increase Ichigo visually gets, that's an awfully simple Bankai. Ichigo Kurosaki, one of the most talented Soul Reapers in history, with a power system made of the most complex soul types in Bleach, has a Bankai whose ability is just speed. Relative speed if you want to be nice. The stronger he becomes as he grows, the higher the increase in speed, but still, it's just speed? That's it? His Bankai is sounding fraudulent by the minute, especially when you compare it to the other Bankai in the series. So what we can conclude is that the Zanpak To Ichigo uses for majority of the series, especially his Bankai state, is inauthentic. That part is well known. What is not well known is the details and nuances that inform that conclusion. So we know that White is the true source of Ichigo's Soul Reaper abilities, but we're still on the hunt for what Ichigo's Zanpak To ability is. And so, let me present you with what my answer is, and then I will give evidence to back up my claim. In my opinion, based on the research I have conducted, I think that it is feasible to say that Ichigo Kurosaki Zanpak To has the ability of holification. Not merely the act of holifying, but the ability to take on the characteristics and abilities of a hollow and apply it onto himself as a Shinigami. That may or may not surprise you, so let me explain my thought process. In the world of Bleach, there are beings known as Arankars or Visors, two sides of the same coin. On one side, you have Arankars, who are hollows given Soul Reaper powers, and on the other side, you have Visors, Soul Reapers who are granted hollow powers. The nuance here lies in the details. For example, let me use Shinji Hirako. Shinji was born a pure Soul Reaper, that is, he is 100% Shinigami. His power pools are made up of Shikai and Bankai. After living a life of Soul Reaping, he is then caught and injected with Hollow Ryatsu, giving him the ability to holify, donning a mask, and gaining Hollow Ryatsu, which lets him use Seros and whatnot. But the two power pools he has are different. They are fully separate. He has Soul Reaper powers and also has Hollow powers, and both these powers are inside him but are still separate. Now in Ichigo's case, this is entirely different. White, the original White, was a being created by Aizen. White had a battle with Ishin and Masaki and he bit Masaki. Now, that White, the White that bit Masaki, was killed by her. The he that is him is gone, but his Ryatu is now inside her and takes root within, materializing a form of its own. In this state, I would like to assume that he retains all his memories from before, but there's really no evidence to suggest that is the case. At the very least, it's like an asexual offspring of the real White who is now dead, but now has a genetic offspring living on within Masaki. This new being then forms a reishi bond with Masaki, binding their souls together and the two become one. This is way before Ichigo is even conceived. This happens when Masaki is in high school. She grows up, she enters college, she meets Ishin, they get married, and then Ichigo is conceived. And in that instance, Ichigo is the offspring of a Quincy, Masaki, and a Soul Reaper, Ishin. So in theory, he inherits the genetic trait of Shinigami and Quincy powers. Because Masaki has formed a Reishi tie with White, she now has Hollow Ryatsu within her. Not merely Hollow Ryatsu, this Ryatsu is of the potent kind that can take on a visible form she and Ishin are able to see. This unique set of circumstances creates a situation where Ichigo's natural sword for powers, which he is gaining from his dad, and the hollow powers which have become one with his mom, naturally mix together and become his Shinigami powers. It's not like Shinji, who is a fully formed sword reaper injected with hollow powers. Ichigo's sword reaper powers from conception, from its origin, from the very beginning, are embodied in this person we call White. Yet again, I would actually theorize the being we see as white is yet another spiritual offspring of the white inside Masaki, because I don't think there's evidence to suggest that a hollow, like, like the actual full hollow, can be passed down from parent to child. I don't think that's the case, because if the hollow itself passed down to Ichigo, then does it mean that after Ichigo was born, Masaki no longer had hollow Ryatsu within her? Probably not. 
I think of it as a spiritual successor. A spiritual asexual offspring of what is what passed on to Ichigo. One that is naturally one with Ichigo. One that is so natural that Ichigo can then say, you are me. If the white in Ichigo is the one from all the way back with Aizen and then Masaki, then it's not truly Ichigo, is it? This white we see as Ichigo's power is well and truly Ichigo. They are one. They were conceived and created together, and that is why Ichigo can look at him and say, you are me. They literally look the same. Like, white Ichigo is Ichigo of a different color. Literally. So, think about it like this. Old Man Zangetsu takes on the visage of Yuha Bok, but he's not actually Yuha Bok. He's a spiritual successor, or you can say he's a genetic offspring of Yuha Bok, but he's not literally him. The same thing applies here. And so, if White, who is a hollow, is Ichigo's story for powers, then Ichigo Zanpakuto, Shikai, and Bankai will be born from White. And if that's the case, can we not then say, that the qualities that White possesses, the characteristics which White has had impact Ichigo's body, can we not then say that those abilities are Ichigo's Zanpakuto abilities? Can we now say that Zangetsu, as in White, has the power of holification? Like, think about it. Shinji and the Visors can use a Sero, but they have never combined a Sero with a Soryper ability. Ichigo, on the other hand, uses a Grand Ray Sero with a Getsu Getensho, something that has not happened before. The only way Ichigo is able to use a Sero with a Getsuke Tensho is if Ichigo Shinigami and Hollow Powers at its core are mixed. Naturally mixed. And so, from that perspective, I can then take a look back at the entirety of Bleach and take a completely original look at the events that transpire. What do I mean by this? Well, think back to White Ichigo. What characteristic has White displayed? What powers and abilities has he shown? If White has it, then Ichigo is able to use it himself as his own if he wants to. Don in his hollow mask is Ichigo expressing use of his Zanpakuto in a very unique original way. Clad in his body with hollow Ryatu to form a horn and hollow markings across his body is not a simple holification. Shinji can't do that. Kensei can't do that. Horn of Salvation is a Zangetsu ability. No other individual with hollow and Shinigami powers has shown anything even remotely close to what Ichigo did. The reason Ichigo can create Horn of Salvation is because his Shinigami and Hollow powers are one and the same. In fact, let's take it a step further. Ukiyori is universally known to be the Espada with the highest and strongest regenerative abilities. That is a well-known fact. However, Ukiyori cannot regenerate his internal organs. Despite that, White Ichigo in his vast Lorde state was able to regenerate Ichigo's internal organs, proving that White Ichigo has stronger regenerative abilities than Ukiyora Schiffer. If White can do that, Ichigo should be able to do it as well if he got in the gym and trained as he's supposed to. We all know Ichigo's not doing that. The point of all of this is to say that Ichigo Kurosaki, because his Hollow and Shinigami powers are naturally one and the same, has a Zanpakuto ability for Zangetsu, and it is quite simply Hollification and the positive battle effect of taking on characteristics of a hollow. Speed increase, strength increase, increase in durability, a Sero, a Bala, a Grand Ray Sero, and perhaps even a Sero Oscuras. Those are all Ichigo's genuine Zanpakuto abilities. They just don't seem that way because they're hollow like, but no one else is using these attacks in combination with their Soryapers like Ichigo is. So hopefully, that made sense. I really hope that made sense. There's still one last problem. There's still one teeny tiny problem. Throughout all of this, I've kept this attack on the back burner and for good reason. If Ichigo's on Getsu ability is holification, then what the hell is Getsuke Tensho? Okay then, so for this one, we gotta strap in and we gotta dive deeper into Kubology. We're gonna go with subatomic for this one, all right? Like I stated before, a Zanpakuto ability cannot be shared by two people. The affinity can be the same, but the ability is specific to the Soul Reaper. You can find an Asuruchi that was originally someone else's, but eventually you will imprint your own soul onto it and it will become truly yours. If Getsuke Tensho were to be perceived as Ichigo Zanpakuto ability, then no one else should be able to use it. However, Ishin Kurosaki has demonstrated multiple times to be able to use Getsuke Tensho. Not only that, he has knowledge on the final Getsuke Tensho, stating that his Ngetsu made it very difficult for him back then. Now this opens up a whole new avenue of things to discuss. First of all, 
The fact that Ishin can use Getsuke Tensho is proof that Getsuke Tensho is not a Zanpak To ability. It is a Zanpak To technique. I will restate that. Getsuke Tensho is not a Zanpak To ability. It is a Zanpak To technique. Using Ishin and Ichigo as a guide, we can conclude that the Getsuke Tensho is a technique that is hereditary in that it is passed on from parent to child. I cannot speak for Ishin's dad or his dad or whoever. That's beyond me. But at the very least, we know that the Getsuke Tensho is a technique that is passed on from parent to child. Furthermore, it makes more sense when you contextualize that with the final Getsuke Tensho situation. If the final Getsuke Tensho is a Zanpak to ability, it makes it weird that both father and son can perform it, since Zanpak to abilities are supposed to be deeply personal matters. But if you look at the final Getsuke Tensho as the ultimate form of a technique passed down from father to son, all of a sudden, it makes more sense why Ishinin and Getsu can have a final Getsuke Tensho, and then Ichigo and Zangetsu can also have a final Getsuke Tensho. It doesn't answer everything, but just the simple act of viewing Getsuke Tensho as a technique instead of an ability makes a world of difference. Think back to when Ichigo first used Getsuke Tensho. He explains it to Byakuya. At the moment of attack, it consumes my spirit energy and fires a super high concentration of spiritual pressure from the tip of my blade. Then, the attack is magnified and discharged as a super high density beam, giving it an incredibly amplified swing. There's nothing inherently, uh, I want to say, special about this when you think about it. Ichigo releases his spiritual pressure, the Zanpak to absorbs it, and then re-releases it as a high density beam swing. Ishin can do this as well, and it works the same way as Ichigo, even though Ishin's Ngetsu is a fire type Zanpak To. That's an important fact. Ishin Kurosaki's Zanpak To ability is fire. His affinity is fire, but he has the Getsuka Tensho technique. I'll go one step further. On Cloud Outside, Kubo talked about Ishin's usage of the Getsuka Tensho. This is Kubo, and I quote, this is Kubo, I'm quoting. Ishin's Getsuka Tensho is different from Ichigo's in that it's a close-ranged attack in which both fire and Ryatsu are released in the form of a slash. What that means right there is like a fancy bleach equation. This is Kubology 101. We're getting surgical in here, right? It's like a fancy bleach equation. So, all right. The idea here is that Ishin has a Zanpakuto affinity. It's fire. And he has a hereditary Zanpakuto technique. Get to Ketensho. Ishin combines the affinity with the technique to form an even stronger attack. He takes the fire from Ngetsu, adds it to the Getsuke Tensho, and fires off a flaming Getsuke Tensho. Now, take that principle and give it to Ichigo. Ichigo's Zanpakuto affinity is holification. His hereditary Zanpakuto technique is Getsuke Tensho. So what does he do? Ichigo takes the Grand Ray Sera ability of his Zanpakuto, adds it to his Zanpakuto hereditary technique of the Getsuke Tensho, and fires off a Grand Ray Getsuke. That is the mathematical, scientific, philosophical, and logical equation that proves to me and everyone that Ichigo's Zanpakuto ability is indeed holification. Because the Getsuke Tensho functions as a technique its users lace with their actual Zanpakuto power to then release. Ishin takes his fire affinity, adds it to the Getsuke Tensho technique to get his flaming Getsuke Tensho. Ichigo takes his Zanpakuto affinity of holification, specifically the Grand Ray Sero, adds it to the Getsuke Tensho technique, and fires off a Grand Ray Getsuke Tensho. So there you have it, guys. That right there is, in my opinion, the proper way of perceiving Ichigo Kurosagi's power in the story of Bleach. What he is, is an extremely powerful character with even more potential than he realizes. He is a terrifying anomaly and you can see why Yuha Bak did not want to fight this dude. He broke that man's Bankai immediately and said, nah bro, I'm good, I'm not fighting this Bankai. That's how powerful Ichigo could be if he took it more seriously. So let me know what you think down below. I know I said some crazy things and I probably made a ton of mistakes. But I'm here to listen, I'm here to learn. Let's talk about it. So guys, if you made it this far, please do subscribe, alright? If you made it this far, you gotta hit subscribe. Let's grow this platform, let's grow this channel, let's grow this community. Subscribe and join the realm. Let's make this amazing. Anyway, that'll be all for today. This is your boy Rebirth, signing off until the next video. Peace out.